Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here for another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, after that quite, well, disappointing performance from Churchwood's Pear Cider a couple of reviews back, I felt that I needed to redeem myself by hopefully trying what I hope is going to be a better tasting pear cider for you guys. And the one to do that is, well, hopefully, Thatcher's Pear. Now, as you guys know, these guys have got a really, really good track record with their ciders. The only one so far that's been a kind of a blip on an otherwise great record is uh, Thatcher's Old Rascal, which, if I had to have given a rating on, their, on that review, which I didn't, I'd have given it about a 5 out of 10. But still, that's not below average, that's just middle of the road. So, yeah, like I say, everyone's got to have a blip on their radar, haven't they? Anyway, hopefully, this one is going to totally redeem Churchwood's pair, and, uh, yeah, hopefully... It's going to keep up with the really good track record that Thatchers have got so far. But before we do the taste testing and all that, let me just give you some details on Thatcher's Pear. Thatcher's Pear Cider comes in these 500 milliliter bottles, which you can also get on draft in certain pubs across the country as well. Now, the strength is 4.5% in volume, so pretty standard for a on-the-shelf cider. Um, I'm going to assume it's a sweet cider, but naturally it doesn't actually say on the bottle, so I can't tell you that. And the price, like most other Thatcher's ciders on their website, you can get it for £1.55. Obviously not including delivery charges, but on the shelf you expect to pay about £1.89 for these sorts of bottles, so... You make the decision which is the better choice. So there's the bump out of the way for you. Right, well, like with most other pear cider bottles out there, there is a lot of green on this bottle. It seems that pear ciders like to differentiate themselves from uh, normal cider bottles by being very green. But, you know, it has the same old design that Thatcher's bottles have. Nice, clean, crisp writing and everything. It's got the pears on the bottom. Nice rural countryside in the background as well. So, yeah, Thatcher's... Pear cider does its job with the bottle as well, and like most other Thatcher ciders, it does have a description on the back, so I'll just read it out here. Thatcher's pear cider is full of flavour from the finest quality pears. Crafted using traditional techniques and expertise gained since 1904, this refreshingly light pear cider has a smooth and fruity taste. So there you go, not as long-winded as some of the other Thatcher's um, cider bottles out there, but still pretty cool. Now, um, well, guess there's... Only one thing left to do, really, and that's to crack this bottle open and see how it tastes. So, let's get this old bottle open. Last time, uh, the bottle cap just flew off and I couldn't find it, so uh, I was a bit careful this time. Okay, let's do the old smell. Hmm. Bit, uh... Yeah, and there's a nice, nice fruity aroma coming from this. I'm actually getting a, a slight apple smell off it as well. Even though it's uh, only supposed to be pear cider, but there we go. It um, definitely has that nice pear fruity aroma coming off of it. But a very light smell as well, I've got to say. Mind you, this is only 4.5%, so it's not going to blow my head off. So, let's just pour Thatcher's pear into Thatcher's gold and see what it looks like. Now, um, I'm not expecting any sediment off these kind of things, but um, there we go. So I don't need to take my time with this one. I can just kind of like pour it out as fast as I please. There we go. Mmm, I can smell the pears coming off it already. I've not even got my nose to the glass. But uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. Um, pretty standard pear cider colour there. Just a slight yellow tint to it. Because uh, some of the pear ciders are actually quite clear. But this one has got a slight, let uh, say, slight yellow tint to it. Quite a few... Um, Quite large bubbles coming off of it as well, quite a bit of carbonation. But uh, let's just see what it smells like in the glass. Ah, and now, the, like I said, the pears really do start coming through on the glass. It was kind of like sedated in the bottle, I must say. So uh, obviously, pouring it into the glass has released the flavours, which is pretty cool. But yeah, nice pear aroma coming off of that. Not sharp or bitter or even too sickly sweet as well, so that's a good one. One thing left to do, though, isn't there? Let's give this thing a taste. Mm. Ah. Mmm. Oh, that is... That's very nice. Mmm. Wow. Okay, the first thing that I notice is it's very light. A very, very 
very, very light pear taste to it, I've got to say. It um, has a very nice, a very nice uh, pear taste coming off of it. But like I say, it's a very subdued and gentle aroma as well. The aftertaste is... Um, there isn't really much of an aftertaste of pears, I've got to say. But uh, let's just get a second opinion to be sure. Hmm. Yeah, that is... It, like um, other, other pear ciders that I've tried, it actually doesn't taste like just normal fizzy pear juice. This actually does taste like a proper cider, if you know what I mean. It uh, isn't sickly sweet, I think is what I'm trying to say, because like Churchwood's pear has shown, you can get some pear ciders which just taste incredibly sickly sweet, and that's probably from... Um, like the sugars and sweetness that they've added to it. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle. It just says contains sulfites for freshness. So as far as I'm aware, this contains no artificial sh sugars or sweeteners or additives or anything like that, which is awesome. So the taste is all natural. Yeah, it is sweet tasting, but like I said, it's not sickly sweet, which is cool. And uh, yeah, there's not really much of an aftertaste of pears, so it doesn't um, linger about in your throat too long. But the initial taste is very pleasant, very light. I would say crisp as well. It's definitely, um... Hmm. Yeah, crisp but sweet. I'll definitely say that. But, yeah, overall, this is a very enjoyable, enjoyable tasting cider, I must say. This, um... This is definitely one that you can just have at any time of the day, really, because it's not going to blow your head off. It's only 4.5% volume, so... Um, even if you're just going out, I know some people are very like iffy just having at least one drink to draw, you know, when driving and everything. But even so, this one um, is perfectly fine, you know, if you want to um, want to just enjoy yourself, you know, and you want to join in with, um, you know, a couple of drinks and everything, then this is absolutely fine to have. And like I said, it's very nice. Thatchers have once again created a very, very nice tasting pear cider. And I've got to say, it totally, totally outclasses Churchwood's tenfold, I've got to say. Hmm. I think I've pretty much said everything that needs to be said about this one, really. It's, um, yeah, just to summarise, it's very, very light, like the colour. It's crisp, definitely refreshing. Like I say, it doesn't really have much of an aftertaste to it, but um, at least it doesn't have a crap aftertaste. So there you go, that's a plus. But, um, I mean, yeah, you know, it's not the greatest tasting pear cider I've ever had, but it certainly isn't the worst tasting pear cider I've ever had either. So, Thatcher's pear cider from me gets a 7 out of 10. They just once again done it. They're really holding their own out there, I've got to say. So, um, yeah, if you can find this on the store shelves, seriously give it a go if you're into more pear ciders than apple ciders. This one is definitely one to go for. But, um, like I say, you can probably get it off cheaper off the actual website, or they probably will have to pay a delivery charge. But to be honest, I think it's going to be worth it. Definitely, especially if you're going to get some of the other Thatcher's ciders with it as well. It's very, very much worth trying to get a hold of this. Ah, <sighs> well, that was another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. It was kind of a short one, but, you know, there was... I've pretty much said what I need to say about this. Very enjoyable, and one that I shall definitely be getting again. So, until next time, guys, I'll be bringing to you another delicious and tasty cider for you. But until then, I'm just going to kick back, relax, and enjoy this Thatcher's Pear Cider. Take care, guys.